Hey everyone, uh, we have Deepak Gupta here with us. He is a six time uh, author and uh, a parenting coach. Uh, before venturing into an, uh, an author journey, he was a manager at Vodafone India and worked uh, almost a decade uh, in the corporate industry. And today in this video, we are going to uh, listen from him and learn uh, about his author journey and, and what inspired him uh, to venture into such a uh, unconventional path that he is into right now. He's, he's a parenting coach and has written books on parenting and also, uh, you know, time management and uh, many other that uh, we would uh, hear from him. So Deepak Gupta ji, uh, well, welcome to, to uh, my YouTube channel and I appreciate you joining uh, on time. And uh, we would like to hear from you, your author journey to begin with, and, and then also uh, about the books that you've written. Thank you so much, Raghunath. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I really feel happy. Absolutely. Sure. So I am born and brought up in Delhi. And okay. uh, previously, I have my own traditional business for last eight to 10 years. I handle my own business okay. in uh, of synthetic sarees. We deal from Surat. But okay. unfortunately, we got some losses and... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, rewind up that business, right? Okay. Then I started my journey with uh, Telecom Vodafone and uh, okay. I started with the executive there and I work hard and then executive, then team leader, then I become the manager there. And okay. uh, for eight to nine years, I worked with Vodafone. Okay. And I see. I was handling the retail channel of Vodafone. So okay. we were interacting to people. I love interacting people. Right. And I love to solve their problems. Okay. Sometimes a a person come to Vodafone store that I don't have a network. So I don't mm -hmm. tell lie that network will come, go. Then right. I just lie. No, I was honest from day one. If there okay. is an issue, I tell them. And I am loved to, you know, I have a habit of solving the problems, right? Okay. Then in 2012, 13, uh, there was some issues with telecom and a lot of companies came up and very much yeah. uh, there was a glitch there. So I right. uh, joined a company called uh, uh, Scholastics and we were in parenting. Okay. And I, I was counseling the parents how to develop the foundation at home. Okay. Right now, the biggest problem is that every child is busy with mobile. They are, <laughs> least, interested in, they are least interested in books, reading books, right. right? Habit is not there. And parents are pushing the kids every day. Very. Now, from day one, the child is born till six, seven, eight years, how to lay the foundation of the child. So we provide the learning sessions to the parents all over India. Kerala, okay. Trivandrum, Kotiam, okay. Hyderabad, Bangalore, South India, we're regularly coming there. And okay. we give the solutions to the parents. And we provide a library. This is my library, but we provide Wonderful. a learning library to the parents, right? Okay. In 2021, in second wave of COVID, I was in hospital. I was hospitalized for oh. one month. Okay. And uh, my oxygen level went down to 37. And oh. uh, whole, I was not watching TV that time in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was thinking what to do. Mm -hmm. So I was watching some movies on Netflix and suddenly it, a thought come in my mind that okay. why not to write your book? You have a lot of ideas. Oh. So that day in hospital, the idea came up. It, okay. was, it was born, right? right? So I started writing there itself. Oh, so right. I have an idea on parenting. I have an idea on motivation. I have read more than 300 books. You Wonderful. meet any writer, Tony Robbins, Robert e. Kiyosaki, Napoleon Hill, Shiv Kheda. Almost, oh, okay. I have read all the writers in the last 10 years. So okay. I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of solutions. So that day, uh, you know, the idea came up that why not to write the books? So in okay. one month when I was in hospital, uh, I started making a base level of the books. Okay. And when I was in one month, I was at home in on concentrator, right? I was mm -hmm. not able to move anywhere. So two months, I was oh. completely free that time. And I was writing the thing that now what to do? So I just, uh, thoughts were coming in my mind and I was just uh, noted down in my notes. Mm -hmm. and But I don't execute that time. It takes okay. time. Right? Right. Then after one month, I sit again. I said, okay, let's do it. Then every day I make a decision that 15 minutes every day I will sit in the books. Okay. Right? That's the idea, right? So every day I make a discipline that the day is not going to end till I'm sitting in front of a laptop and writing something. 15 right. minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. That creates the momentum, right? Then, Good. you know what happens? I was writing a book. Eight chapters were completed. And on the ninth chapter, I have to change the entire book. Oh. It's my experience, <laughs> right? Right. The entire right. thing was changed. Entire theme was changed of the book. It happens sometimes, right? So right, slowly right. and gradually, I got some ideas. 
and okay. then the idea was born. Okay. So it's like in the how... hospital, you were struggling yes. to uh, meet your, uh, you know, health, uh, struggle, yes. struggling with your health. And then this thing came up in your mind that you should probably Definitely. use that time productively and, and then start writing a book. Uh, it's a, it's a wonderful idea. And, uh, and, and that's why we are talking together now. So it's, it's an amazing, uh, you know, uh, feeling when, when we uh, meet each other uh, as an author and, and then see each other's journey because there is yes. something behind uh, that is uh, like acting as a calling uh, that right. pulls you in, into an author journey. So it's, right. it's really great to hear your story. Uh, moving on to, to uh, the recent book that you have written, I think it's, it's uh, just live on Amazon. Can you talk a little bit on that and, and what exactly uh, it, it talks about? Yeah. So this is my book, The World Becomes Your Library. Okay. It is inspiring journeys of courage and transformation. Okay. Right? Now, from where the idea came up, you know, I was listening to an interview of Kobe Brandt. Okay. He was playing with Michael, jo Michael uh, Jordan. Right? Right. Uh, Jordan and uh, I was listening to him. He said that I play basketball for 8 to 10 hours a day. Practice. Right. Mm -hmm. Morning 6 a.m. I am in the field. Right. I am in the court. Right. Right. Now he says, when you have a purpose in your life, when you have a goal and a desire in your life, the world becomes your library to make it fulfilled. Mm. Right. right. Wonderful. Every person in this world is going to teach you anything. Correct. That's the idea. Right. So I it strikes in my mind that he's right. Because mm -hmm. when you have a purpose, you know, you can learn from a tube light, you can learn from a fan, you can learn from a dog, right. you can learn from a cat. Right. Every everything in this world becomes your library. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was writing a lot of stories in this book, and it's a masterpiece. Okay. You know, if you okay. give this book to Robin Sharma, if you give this book to Shiv Khera, if you give this book to anybody, I can guarantee it is worth investment. Right. And Wonderful. whosoever is going to read this book. Mm -hmm. It will develop the mindset of that person. Okay. No matter either that guy is struggling or he's successful, he's a vice president of a company or he's a bankrupt. Anybody okay. in this world, if anybody will read this book, it will mm -hmm. develop their mindset. Okay. Right? okay. I will share one uh, very, I have two, three chapters I will share with you. I will so, share one very interesting uh, theme of this book. Daggers versus emperor mentality. Okay. Right. Most of the people think like a beggar, right? Why? Right. A beggar think for a meal to meal. Hmm. What is the goal of a beggar? They have a breakfast, then they plan their strategize how to have lunch. Yep. Then after lunch they rest. Then in the evening they come up how to have a dinner. They plan Correct. their meet their strategies, their actions. All they are determined how to take a dinner from somebody, right? Right. Right. It happens sometimes, right? A laborer exactly. think for a day to day. A laborer wake up in the morning. He has only a thought process. Then mm. in this day, how to make up the food and living. Correct. Right? And he plan for a day. If you hire a labor, you don't give him the payout. He will be right. frustrated. Right? Correct. An employee, think mm -hmm. for a month to month. First right. till 31st. That's the mindset of an employee. If you don't give the salary, he will be get annoyed. Right? right. He, Absolutely. His all the meetings and strategies, all the goals are designed for one month. They mm -hmm. don't think beyond that. All right. Right. A farmer okay. think for three months. Yeah. Seasons. Right? They plan the sea seasoning. They, they plan yes. for three months at least. All their right. vision is, their mind is broad mind till the season, mm. right? Correct. A landlord think for mm. a year. Yeah. He think for one year that I have the planning for one year, right? A king yes. think for 10 years. Right. Whenever a king think about any action, any marketing plan, any mm -hmm. roads, any development, they think for 10 years. Exactly. And right. an emperor, an emperor think for 100 years. Right. As Mr. PM, PM Modi, right? Yep. They think for 100 years. Presidents of the companies, they draw the right. lines on the map, right? They think for 100 years. They think for next three generations, right? Yep. Uh, they uh, Suppose 20 years before we think about Metro, they have taken the decision that time. Right. Mm -hmm. So now Absolutely. they are thinking about moon and Chandrayaan and all these things. They think for next hundred years, right? Right. Now I have a question in this book: self introspection mm -hmm. after every chapter. Okay. What is your mindset? Of? A person who is an employee, it will help him. How to convert the employee mindset to a landlord mindset? Okay. Right. 
a person who think only for a job or for temporary solutions, they will learn. We have to think long term. Mm -hmm. But most of the uh, and humanity is only thinking about short term. Right. right. So this first chapter will give the wisdom to the person how to think long term. Okay. That's an interesting point. Yeah. 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 That's an interesting point because the more longer we think, the better our decisions are. That's uh, yes. usually the case. So what, what actionable steps can an employee make to, uh, let's say, uh, look, look long term uh, so he can um, uh, broaden his vision uh, while he's at work? How an employee can take the long term vision? See, first, any employee, two types of employees are there. First, mm -hmm. they only want to work as a job, job person. Right. Second category of employees that they want to be an entrepreneur, but they are right. doing a job. They want to right. open their own company. Right. Yeah. So they should write down the goals. Mm -hmm. The first category of the goal is someday goal. Okay. Someday goal include everything that you are mm -hmm. going to buy a planet, you are going to buy a you know lake, you are going to buy a Mercedes Benz, a company, you are right. going to buy you know states. You can buy buy anything, right? You can buy, you want to buy an aeroplane. Someday goals. Right. And they categorize those someday goals in a five-year okay. game plan. Okay. What are their five-year goals? Then okay. they categorize those five-year goals into one-year mm -hmm. goal. Okay. Then they categorize those one-year goal into six months goal. Mm. And then they categorize those six months goal into one month goal. Okay. And then they categorize their one month goal into one week goal. Mm. And then they categorize their one week goal into a one day goal. One day goal. And okay. when they are on the one day goal, they categorize what could I, what shall I do right now to improve that should take me to my highest level. Okay. So the game starts from right now. Right. Absolutely. Right? Every, every employee can be a billionaire. They have must Correct. have idea, right? But sometimes right. employees have a mindset of I will do the work for 60 years as I got retired. Second category ah. of employees are looking for something, they're hungry. So right. anybody can become anything, just they have to take the steps. Wonderful. I, I especially like the point you mentioned uh, where you say, talk about goal setting and also about like 15 minutes of writing a day. That's what you did. Very and, and when you very do important. it on a, a consistent basis, the compound effect starts to play and then suddenly you are somebody. Definitely. Like, like you. Definitely. Uh, you are like a six-time author. It's it's absolutely amazing uh, that you have six books under, under you uh, in, in Amazon. So what is it that keeps you uh, motivated to write so much? I know you have another book on procrastination, but that's again something that I would like to learn from you as well. How do you not procrastinate amidst uh, the daily uh, life, so much going on in your life? How do you manage to uh, you know, catch up on all the uh, activities that you're doing for your books? See, I myself was a procrastinator. Okay. So I exactly know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. So procrastinator is a habit who everybody do. Procrastination, right. right? Even I have done procrastination a lot of times. <laughs> right? Correct. I have seen people 10 years before, 10 years ago, mm. they were in the same situation. After 10 years, they were in the yeah. same situation because right. they don't act. Mm. Right? Correct. Right? So procrastination is a disease. There is a statement in my book, a road okay. called someday will leads you to a town called nowhere oh wonderful yeah right that's so true. procrastination should be stopped instantly mm, absolutely right? yeah. it's a disease it's a virus uh -huh. right but actually people procrastinate because they don't have a solid dream okay suppose if a boy has a girlfriend mm -hmm. and he loves that girlfriend would you procrastinate yep. to meet her no, absolutely not. <laughs> He'll be all the more yeah. eager to meet her. Yeah. Eager, eager to meet her. But why people procrastinate? Because mm. their girlfriend is not strong. It means their dreams ah. are not strong. They, they are not visualizing their dreams. Ah. So it it seems to be unreachable. Mm. They procrastinate. Okay. Something is they too hard, so they don't want to take any action. Something is too far. Something too far. is too far. Okay. And they uh, their insight is not going to catch that. They will procrastinate. Right. Mm. You are living in Kerala, right? right? If you want to come to Kerala, which place? Caligat. Caligat. If you want to yeah. come to Trivandrum, 
you will yeah. see the road in front of your house. Mm. Then the next road, then the next road, then the next road, right? If I show you Delhi from Trivandrum, it's out of our file. Out of top. reach. <laughs> out of reach. File not top, right. right? That's why I told you someday goal, then five year goal, then one year goal, mm. then right now goal. Okay. Okay. If, if their dream is strong enough, they will never procrastinate. People okay. who procrastinate, dreams are not strong. And sometimes mm. they don't want to achieve their dreams because they know that right. these are not my dreams, personal dreams. These are only fake dreams. Okay. You watch some motivating speaker. I want to buy a Mercedes. They started saying, I want to buy a Mercedes. That is not a dream. Right. A mm. dream a dream could be an electricity bill of 10,000 rupees. <laughs> a dream could be an EMI of 15,000 rupees, which is pinching you. Right, right. A, a dream should be a buffet dinner at five star hotel of 2,000 rupees. With your family, 10,000 rupees for five people. And mm -hmm. you have never gone there. It might be pinching you, right? Correct. So dream is not Mercedes and BMW. Dream is, uh, but is pinching you is also a dream. You want to get rid of right. it. So some, is some pain strong enough? Some pain, some, right? Some pain, which is like uh, not letting you uh, be at peace. And it's, uh, you know, act, making you restless. That could be the, uh, you know, inspiration that you can take forward. Uh, in your yes, is yes, that yes, yes. I have, yeah. yeah, I have read a book, Robert E. Kiyosaki book. In, ah. in that, uh, it's something written about dream. He says, mm. uh, I met a person, his dream was, he says, I want to go to Switzerland to my to my sister's home and I want to give her the surprise. She will open the door and she will see me. This is my dream. Right. So that Robert E. Kiyosaki asked that guy, you can fulfill this dream right away. Mm. 70,000 is the ticket of uh, Switzerland. You can go right now right. and you can achieve that dream. No, I will achieve, I will go there for after five years. It's uh -huh. an illusion. So sometimes people don't have the real dreams. They mm. are just uh, uh, dreams out of the ozone layer, which are not even right. their dreams. They listen from somewhere, this is a dream. I want to go to Dubai, I want to go to London. These are not dreams, right? A dream is the thing which is from by heart. Right. But I think uh, Napoleon Hill also talks about it in his book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. It, it, he talks yes. about eager desire uh, to win and a, like a burning intensity that really pushes all limits and uh, helps Definitely. you overcome obstacles. Yeah, that's a very yeah. good point. Uh, Napoleon Hill book is this law of success also. Yeah. He says, yeah. he says, a definite, chief definite goal. You know, mm. you must have your army of 16 uh, skills he told about this book. And he says, right. definite chief goal. What is your definite chief goal? What is mm. your purpose? What yep. is your burning desire? But right. you know, people are missing that desire. Absolutely. That's yeah. the reason. You know, I have never thought of writing a book. Right? Okay. I always, I want to give seminars and all these things. But okay. one thought, I took action, it becomes a reality. If it was okay. in my brain, I think, oh, I can't write, I can't do, I can't... Uh, it was, uh, I was not there with you right now, right? Right. The action is important. Execution is important. The biggest problem is that people are dreaming, dreaming, dreaming someday, someday, someday. There is no execution. And they go to okay. their grave with their dreams. W. Cement, Stone, w. Cement Stone says, you know, there yeah. is a biggest potential in the symmetry. Everybody is lying there <laughs> with dreams. Yeah. Right? So these points are very important. We have to understand yeah. dreaming is very important with action. Absolutely. Only Wonderful. dreaming will not do anything. Yeah. Absolutely, Deepa Gupta. A delight to be talking to you. And and the key take takeaway for me from, from this conversation is that you need to have like a burning desire and a yes. will uh, to succeed. Uh, and some, some dream that's so strong that you can overcome all obstacles and then uh, reach your milestones uh, that you want to uh, achieve in your life. And with proper action. With because action. the real game is action, what you are doing right yeah. now to achieve your dream. Because right. right now is missing. Right? Whole yeah. day gone, people are doing nothing. Right now right. is very, very important. And when somebody will read this book now, it will give them the wisdom. I will okay. share one very good, I will share one very good story from this book. Uh, okay. There is a person called Nelson Mandela. Right. He was yeah. the president of Africa, right? South Africa. Yeah. South South Africa, right? One day Nelson Mandela after becoming mm -hmm. the president of uh, Africa, he was having the lunch in one of his favorite restaurants. Okay. He go with his security guards and he ordered for the lunch. There was very delicious food, right? And he okay. saw one person is sitting next to the table. Okay. So Nancy Manila asked his uh, guard, security guard, invite that person to my table. They okay. went to the person, they invite him to the table and they uh, greet each other and they enjoy the lunch. Mm -hmm. But during the whole discussions and whole lunch time, that guy was a little shaking and he was a little afraid of Nelson Mandela. 
So okay. when they uh, after the lunch they uh, he he gone and then they sit in the car and they went away. So Nelson Mandela uh, main chief asked him that sir that guy was afraid of you. He was shaking. I think he was not well. Nelson Mandela so say no that was not the case. He was well. Okay. You know who he was with the who? He was the jailer of the jail when I was there in the jail. <laughs> and he was okay. And he was given the permission to torture him me like hell. Oh. For five five days he don't give me the water. And oh, if I okay. ask for water, he he give me a toilet to drink. Right, right. So he give me the disastrous torture I can mm. ever imagine. And right. now he and he know that I am the president. Mm. I can do anything. So he was afraid. Okay. But Nelson Mandela says I forgive him. Because okay. my goal is right now not to fight with that guy. My okay. goal is right now to solve the problems of Africa. So Wonderful. the learning from this, learning from this story is that that mm -hmm. we must be always in the mode of forget and forget. Okay, okay. We might lose some battles, but we will win mm. the war. Wonderful, but absolutely right now, beautiful. But why yeah. right now? What the people are doing? They are fighting for small, small things. You are going uh, in your car. Some car hit you. They are fighting like anything. Everybody has insurance, uh, but their mindset <laughs> is so weak. That they are okay. busy with this small, small stuff. It's only a one story. Yeah. Like this, there are 80 stories which okay. can change the mindset of a person. Wonderful. I would encourage all my uh, viewers to uh, you know look, check out the book. Uh, based on what Deepak Ji is saying, it, it's an absolute uh, transformational book for uh, for you. And uh, th thanks, Deepak Gupta Ji. Uh, uh, how, what's the best way to reach you for any uh, viewers who might want to contact you? You can contact me on my Instagram, Deepa okay. Gupta. D W E I P A K Deepa Gupta. I am there, and okay. uh, everybody I am available on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere. I'm or you can directly call me. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Deepak ji. Uh, it's an absolute delight talking to you as usual. And uh, any closing comments that you want to make before we wrap up? Closing comments are: do action. Your dreams are waiting for you, because life is not the rehearsal; it's a final mm. shot. Right. Wow. Uh, life is. Uh, I will give you one last statement. Your life is like a purchasing on Amazon. You go uh -huh. to Amazon, you click something. Suppose you want to buy a mobile. What you will do? Right. You search a mobile and add to cart. Yeah. Then what you will do? You mention your address. Investigate there and all the yep. details. Uh -huh. You mention your address and all these things, right? Yeah. Then you proceed to pay. Right. Right. When you proceed to pay, what you need to do? You need to pay the price. Correct. If you pay the price, the laptop, uh, mobile will be delivered to your home in the next two days. Uh, if you don't pay the price, your wow. item will be und undelivered. Undel wow, that's an amazing dreams. way. Yeah, amazing Same way with your it. dreams. Mm -hmm. Same with your dreams. Yeah. Your dreams, you thought, I want to do, I want to achieve this. Right. right. Now, universe is ready to give you. Now, mm -hmm. what is your role? Pay the price. Yep. If you don't pay that's the it. price, it will get undelivered. Uh, Simple. So life is like Beautiful. this. Suppose somebody want to write a book, start writing it 15 minutes a day. If you don't right. write it, it will get undelivered. Somebody else will write the book. <laughs> it applies yep. on all the things. Right, right. Amazing. Right? Thank you. Th thank you, Deepak ji. Uh, we'll, we'll talk soon. And, and thanks a lot for your time. Uh, it's an absolute uh, pleasure talking to you and interacting with uh, your uh, books as well. Thank you, Raghunath, and give it, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye.